Hi everyone, this is Kasha and today we're going to learn how to make a super easy cat in a hat costume. If you enjoy sewing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a 12 inch piece of white felt. Felt is very wide, 72 inches wide, so you will have leftovers, but you cannot get a piece that's less than 12 inches. So 12 inch piece of felt and um, 11 inch piece of red felt. You will also need thread. You can use red or white or both. And if you're making the bow, you will also need a pattern. I've made the pattern for you and it's in the description. You can download it for free. It will print on two pages that you will have to cut right here and right here and then put together by either gluing or taping them. So here's what you need to cut out of your felt. You need to cut out two bow pieces, three red strips that are three inches wide and 22 inches long, one seven inch red circle, so seven inch diameter, out of white, two three by 22 inch long strips and finally two circles or two rings that have this cutout is 6 inch diameter and the big circle is 12 inch diameter. Once you have all your pieces cut out we're gonna begin sewing. What we're gonna begin with is doing the stripes. Okay so I'm at my machine now. I'm going to line up one red strip on top of the white strip. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just going to sew this through. Um, I'm, I've widened my stitch to three from two and a half. I don't know if your machine does it like that too, but I feel like for felt you don't need to have it so dense. Now once you have your first two strips together, you want to open this up, take your next strip, line it up again, and make sure that this is your finished edge, so this is going to be your right side, and this is the wrong side. And you're going to do it several times until all of your strips are sewn together into a striped piece. Once you have sewn all your strips together, it should look like this, red, white, red, white, red. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to fold this piece in half, right side together, like so. Turn it and now sew it along this edge. You can pin this, I'm not going to pin, I don't pin felt, it just, it doesn't move, it's fine. Once you have this all together, you should have a cylinder like so. And next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your seven inch red circle and we're going to line it up to our strip. Now you can go ahead and pin it all the way around or you can just start sewing and I'm gonna just start sewing and once again I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance Once this is done, you can flip your hat right side out and you have made the top of your hat. So we're going to put this to the side now and grab our white rings. So your white rings, you're going to sew all along the outer edge. And once again, I'm not pinning and I'm using quarter inch seam allowance. Now 
Once my rings have been sewn together, I'm going to flip it all the way around and I'm going to push with my fingers to make sure that um, this is as flat as I can make it. Once my ring is ready, I'm going to grab my other piece that I have previously made and I'm going to put the ring, I'm going to put it inside the ring and then I'm going to line up these two edges with the red edge and I'm gonna sew all the way around. Now make sure that you're sewing on this side. So the inside of the hat and two rings. That way you'll have the outside of the hat here. And just like I did up top of the hat, I'm going to have to adjust this many times to align and fit. And if you did it right, everything should adjust align perfectly. And just like that, your hat is ready. Now onto the bow. I have switched my thread to red. I have my two pieces and I'm going to sew all the way along the outer edge around the whole entire bow. I'm going to use an eighth inch seam allowance. So in other words, I'm, I'm going as close to the edge as I can. Okay, so now you may ask, uh, so Kasia, what are you going to do with this now? Well, we need to flip it. And to flip it, we're going to cut a slit right in the center of our bowl in the back. Where's the back? Nobody knows that both sides are the same, so just pick one side. Cut an opening about two inches long, and then you're going to slowly flip the bow through it. It's not super easy, but um, it's totally doable. Just one end at a time. Once we have flipped our bow tie the right side out, we have this hole in the back. So I'm not gonna try to stitch this hole together. However, I'm gonna go on the right side and I'm going to stitch a rectangle type oval thing up here. Now it'll do, it'll It'll do two things for us. One, it's going to hold that hole in the back together. Two, it's going to make this bow look a little bit more three-dimensional. So the bow is done. How are you going to attach it? I would just take a safety pin or a clip and stick it to a black shirt. To make an easy costume out of this, you can cut out a U-like shape out of a white felt and then match the top to the top of your shirt. And you can either sew it onto the shirt or you can just pin it so you can reuse the shirt for something else later. You would pin the bow on top of that, put your hat on, get black leggings on and call it a day. Here you go, your cat in a hat, super easy costume, it's ready. <laughs>